Show up in Forest Park. I'm Steve Belinsky. My Friday night special is coming up. But there haven't been too many smoke signals out west. Our food reporter says a new option in Forest Park involves cooking with hardwood, low and slow. It is our Friday night special, and Steve Delinsky is here with the taste. Ooh, sounds good. This is where my job gets really difficult. <laughs> uh, really difficult assignment. So becoming a pit master takes time and patience. It's not just dry rubbing the beef and pork. It's also feeding the fire with hardwood and knowing how long to smoke. Now, the man in charge at Piggyback Tavern hails from the south, so barbecue is in his DNA. That's a good thing if you happen to live out west. The concept of low and slow isn't lost on Jason Kurosaki. The Arkansas native grew up on barbecue, so he knows his dry rub from his sauce. But there's something almost exciting about the mundane routine of loading up a smoker and pulling out beef and pork because he's doing it in Forest Park, not exactly a bastion of barbecue history, at the two-month-old Piggyback Tavern. The Memphis-style dry ribs, that's what I grew up eating. Um, the uh, brisket from Texas is just bar none amazing. Um, and we try to do those styles really well. 10-pound slabs of pork shoulder get smothered in dry rub, which includes cumin, cayenne, and paprika, among a few others. Baby back ribs get the same pre-smoke treatment. Brisket, meanwhile, gets only a dusting in salt and pepper. All day long, logs of hickory and cherry wood are loaded into the base of the smoker, where the pork and brisket hang out at 220 degrees for 10 to 12 hours. Not so for the ribs. One of the weirdest things that I've come across is that a lot of the guys who do it really well on like the uh, barbecue circuit um, actually will cook the ribs at a higher temperature. Um, 275. After just two to three hours, the ribs come out with a good smoke ring and a gentle tug off the bone. There are also some southern touches here like shrimp po'boys, fully dressed, and tasty sides like a mayo-based coleslaw. It's got a little red wine vinegar, sugar, pretty much it. Even simple expected things like a trio of homemade sauces and a rich mac and cheese show up on nearly every table. It seems some things within the Q culture can't be avoided. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. You know, these are things that people expect when you have barbecue. For more information about Piggyback Tavern, just go to our website, abc7chicago.com, or call my info line, 312-750-7096. A lot of fun. Jerry would love that place. Yeah, I was going to say barbecue and mac and cheese.